SpotlightHigh.com was founded to bring local sports information to fans and sports enthusiasts. Good luck to you next week. I appreciate it. Thank you. That would be up there tomorrow morning. That's cool. All right. I've never done that before. Remember, thumbs up, elbows inside. Go ahead and uh, let me get you to square your feet there a little bit there. So I want you to get your, there you go. Now go ahead and sink your hips so you can get some power. Coach Giles here with Spotlight High. I'm on location at Warhead High School, talking to the new head coach at Warhead High School for football. Coach Rose, thank you for joining me today. Thank um, you. We're just going to jump into it. You coming from Warhead High School for 15 years. You've been a outstanding coach there, but you also been an outstanding teacher. You was an outstanding teacher with Teacher of the Year. And you just got the current job at War Hill. What legacy you hope to leave behind here at War Hill High School? Uh, I want to, you know, it's, it's, when you're talking about a legacy, um, that's something that goes down, uh, you know, as uh, something memorable. Um, and what I, would, what I would like to leave here uh, is what I hope to have left at, at Woodside, although uh, assistant coach under Danny Dodson uh, and, and, and assistant track coach under uh, Daryl Johnson, um, I would hope to leave uh, a community of believers. I, I want guys to, uh, to believe in, you know, in themselves uh, and the team that they're a part of. And, and I believe that's what, uh, what breeds success in any program that you find yourself in, uh, uh, at either Woodside or, or now here. Uh, the legacy I want to leave uh, hard workers and guys that believe in, in one another and themselves. That's outstanding, Coach. Coach, you've been around football since you've been a little toddler. You're coming from Canton, Ohio. You yes. played football in the, in the neighborhood. You played football at the high school, you, you, you attended Kent State. Yes. But going back to football, your high school is neighbors with the Hall of Fame. You had Woodside attend the Hall of Fame yes. so they can see hard work, put in hard work. I say that to say this. Give me your idea or your philosophy on leadership, what you see, what should be on the field. Well. That's a that's that's loaded um, when you're talking about my you know uh, a person's idea of leadership and I think it starts um, with uh, having a good example and I, I had that um, growing up my former head coach uh, 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 legendary coach uh, in the state of Ohio uh, coach Tom McDaniel's um, and and then having to work for somebody like uh, you know uh, Danny Dodson uh, for 15 years and, and even yourself. Um, you start to develop uh, and understand what leadership really looks like. Um, and what I, what I could explain as, as leadership is, is having people, is, is maybe setting um, a, a vision and then uh, you know, casting that vision and having people uh, rally around that. And that's what I saw uh, you know, under uh, the leadership uh, uh, at Woodside. Um, you know, Danny Dotson, a wizard, and you know, I'm, it's funny talking to you now because you guys are cut from the same mold. Watching you guys uh, cast your vision and having people follow, like me, uh, it actually helped to keep me around for as many years as I was around. It was difficult to leave uh, because of such great leadership, uh, and that's what I hope to uh, to instill here is to have, kind of cast that vision and and hopefully inspire others to to, to follow it. Orioles is a, is, a, is, a, is a great place. I'm familiar with it, uh, and I hope to continue uh, what, you know, what's been going on here for the past couple of years. Great. Continue still talking about leadership. Now you have kids that was under your defensive era, and now they're starting to coach themselves. Yes. Um, speak on the teaching kids about the game 
instead of just having an athlete using his athletic ability, but you want him to think about the choices he make on the field. Yeah, see, what, we've always had a model, uh, and it's the same thing I, I want to bring here, um, of kids that, that, that know how to make responsible decisions. You don't want to always have rules and procedures and kid look up, oh, did I break this, did I break that? No, it's just, a, it's about honor. Um, if you have this at the forefront, um, and any decision you make in or outside of the program, on or off the field, if you, if you take uh, the idea of honoring uh, the game that you're playing, uh, you're honoring the team that you're playing with, and you're honoring your family. Uh, and if that, if you come to uh, that decision and you're honoring those things, you're making the right decision. Um, and also with, uh, when it comes to um, uh, leadership, I would say, if, especially when we're talking about football, it's less and less about your talent and more and more about the person you are. I'm not a very big guy. Woodside is full of uh, kids that, you know, they don't always have, you know, the, the, they're not always the fastest, not always the biggest. And it's the same way here. Uh, but if they, once again, goes back to them believing in themselves, owning what we're doing and believing in that process, they'll fight for it. Um, and you don't necessarily need a talented kid uh, to get things accomplished on the field, to win on the field. Um, you just need guys, um, you know, that are willing to fight and, and believe in the, in the process. Uh, that, that, like I said, that talent aspect is great. It, it is fantastic. Um, but it's more and more about the person you are. If you're a good person, I think you'll make a great football player. Well said, Coach. Coach, they say if you want to be happy for an hour, eat a steak. If you want to be happy for a day, go play golf. If you want to be happy for a week, going to cruise. What made Coach Rose happy? Part of my vision is, is what is seeing um, the development in kids. Um, and, and not just kids, but anybody that I'm responsible for. I'm mentoring. I, I know that's under uh, my umbrella of leadership is uh, what makes me happy is to be the platform for somebody else to succeed. Uh, and, and them uh, kind of tell others about their, their success. It, it, it's uh, like, a, it, I'm not really, I don't gain pleasure from my, my successes, uh, which is why a lot of things get left out in, in my bios and, you know, in my storytelling. I, I really get excited about other people uh, and how I can help them be the best person that they can be. Whatever it is that they're endeavoring, whatever it is that they're striving for. If I can help, that's where I get happiness. That's where I get excited about it, seeing uh, them grow, you know, and develop, you know, as a result of the program or, you know, the process or anything that I can help them with. Coach, that was well said. Um, I think that you're going to be a great influence on War Hill as a faculty member. You're going to be an outstanding head coach, an outstanding teacher, leader, and we wish you the best here at, at, at War Hill. And thank you for what you do for your community. I appreciate you. Uh, you do a great job, too. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm continuing what you started. So this is, uh, this is a great opportunity for me. And I, I appreciate you and I appreciate Danny Dodson and all those that helped me get to where I am right now. That's outstanding, Coach. Appreciate that. No problem. On go. On go. Go. Press up. Press up. Good. Good, and you got it.